So this is Aris. Hey, Aris. Hi. He's going to be our fantastic expert and is going to uh, lead us to uh, Palawe. So on the island, you say there's no cars, but what about the water? No, 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 no fresh water. No fresh water. Why? Because the volcanic, the volcanic island is... The whole island is yeah, volcanic. And inside of the island, this is still fresh lava. So yeah, we made it to Maumea in the far-flung Flores region of Indonesia. Great flight, we actually ended up flying right over Palawe Volcano itself. Superb views. Um, we met up with the local lads here, we're just going to sit down, have a bite to eat, probably our last big full meal uh, for the next few days before trying to venture over to the island. Uh, it's just great to be here, really excited to get over there and, um, you know, anxious about the uh, adventure ahead. Harris, what's our plan tonight? Tonight, uh, now we drive first to Ropa. It's uh, very close for getting the island. If possible, we will sail, sail to the island. And then, uh, if good weather, we can try to get closer to the volcano. So we've just been stocking up with supplies for the... Uh when we get to Palawa, because there's not much there really, um, we want to be totally self-sufficient. Uh, so Mark, what have we uh, got? Some beers, some we got a few food, beers. water. Cause there's no clean water there. And um, noodles, basically. Excellent. Noodles. Uh, interesting section of road along here. <laughs> yeah. Where um, this is the road. I think basically eaten away. All right, so it's about 10 o'clock in the evening. We've been on the road for about three hours. It's been quite an interesting drive. Parts of the road were washed away by the ocean, big potholes. Um, kind of what you'd expect for this part of the world. But the weather's turned in. Our original plan was to try and get a night boat over to Palawar Island, but that's looking like it's impossible. So we're basically holding up in what is a refugee camp. People who were living on the island and have evacuated because of the volcanic activity. So we're basically going to bunk down here and then wait till first light, hopefully when the weather's clear, and then try and make an attempt to get to the island. Well, who would you just mean like uh, Yeah. Strong, yeah? <laughs> no, it's easy. So we're in a local villager's house and encountering the fantastic hospitality which you're kind of accustomed to in this part of the world. Part of that hospitality involves drinking the local uh, fire water which is called Arak. Is that right? Yeah. So uh, this will hopefully give us a good night's sleep. Yeah. Okay. 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 So big shot of moke and then a good night's sleep. Well, that's the plan. Anyway, cheers. <laughs> So these were our lodgings last night. Had to break out the camping gear a little earlier than expected, but served its purpose, kept us dry, great hospitality. Good morning. So the plan now is um, hanging out with some refugees here who have, who have fled uh, Palawe, but this is where we catch our boat. Uh, we're gonna make the short hop over and then try and catch some of the pyroclastic flow activity if there is any, which uh, normally sweeps down the south side of the volcano. So this is, um, 
kind of first time we're going to be able to see the volcano from up close ground level. So uh, fingers crossed that we get uh, some good stuff. We're now on the south side of Palua Island where the majority of the pyroclastic flows and debris is uh, spilling from the lava dome and the weather it just couldn't be better. We're getting great views. Um, the rain clouds are keeping away and the light is just fantastic. So we're just sitting put here and hopefully uh, waiting for a pyroclastic flow to emerge. The windy always like that. It's not possible when platform over there. Maybe we can, uh, I will ask with the... So we made it to Palawa in one piece. We tried to look at the uh, pyroclastic flows, but there weren't any. But there is quite a lot of activity up at the dome. So um, it's good to be on dry land. We're going to sort our gear out and then make an attempt to uh, climb up uh, the wow. volcano this Look. afternoon. So here's the first stage of our trip, is motorbike ride. We've got the porters uh, helping us carrying some of our gear. And then we're going to hop on the back of a couple of these scooters and then drive to the start of the trail before doing a five kilometer hike. So we're having a pretty mad uh, scooter ride um, up to our location uh, and there's the lahar damage is just crazy. You can see the road has been totally wiped out here and it's the same all the way uh, along basically every major river which we've crossed. You can see up there all the erosion and apparently this happened when the volcanoes first started erupting um, and it's been causing real problems right across the island. So this is where the motorbikes can no longer go, the road's totally trashed and blocked by debris from the massive lahars and flash floods that have obviously hit this area. So it's on foot from here on. Oh! <laughs> 
So we got to our viewing spot, but the clouds have set in, so we can't actually see the volcano, but we, what we can do is hear it and feel it. Uh, just about 10 minutes ago, the whole ground started shaking, and then we heard an almighty kind of crash and explosion. There's obviously a large rock collapse or, or blast at the dome. So uh, we've got a local village here, believe it or not, so we're going to pop in there. They're going to slaughter a chicken, which is uh, part of a local ceremony, and then we're just going to wait for the clouds uh, to clear uh, with all our fingers crossed. Aris, what's the bell? Uh, this is the, the bell for uh, giving the signal. If the volcano wake up, like they do rock, rock fall like that, they say, oh, we are safe here, no problem. That's our seismograph. When the tree shakes, the mountain shakes. So this is the chicken which they slaughtered. Uh, is an offering to the volcano to keep them safe. So this was my campsite last night and good job it had a solid roof because it was absolutely pouring with rain. Um, the fog is still here so uh, we haven't managed to see anything of the volcano at all really. Um, but we're going to try and walk closer to the dome today and just hope that this cloud clears away so we can get a, a, a good view. There's been no let up in this cloud and fog, but we've climbed to what we reckon is about 400 meters uh, from the lava dome. This whole ridge line we're on is just shaking. You know, every five minutes the whole thing just turns to jelly. It feels like it. Uh, so we're just waiting here to hopefully get a glimpse of the dome. Uh, there's no signs of burned out vegetation where pyroclastic flows have been. So, you know, safety first, but try and get as close as possible. Wrong direction, up there. Ah, oh, okay. Stunning. There it is. Amazing. <laughs> what for that is. Oh, I got it. Wow.
cleared tonight. Get one or yep. two of those booms. Could there it back. is, there it is. Yep. Big one again. Well, we've been battling the foul weather basically the entire trip um, and it's turned in again. We haven't been able to see anything for probably three hours now. Uh, so we decided to, uh, to call it quits and then head back down to uh, one of the villages. But we were lucky to get about an hour and a half break where we saw the most spectacular um, eruptive activity from the lava dome, something which is uh, pretty rare to be able to see uh, and just amazing to catch on film. So packing up, heading home. time in Flores is now drawing to a close sadly. Um, it's been a really tough few days but the rewards were well worth all the effort. Just fantastic to be able to get up to the top of Palo Alto Volcano, see the lava dome, film it in action. Um, all good things have come to an end so we're just waiting for our flight to Kupang. Uh, we've got a night stop there which I'm really looking forward to sleeping in a decent bed for the first time in three nights and also having a shower for the first time in even longer. So uh, it's going to be a bit of a smelly flight. I've been looking forward to freshening up.